What can cause a sump pump to fail? Basically, these things are destined to failure the minute you take them out of a box. This thing is always in water. Now this one had a separate float switch. And if your sump is empty, this thing will be sitting down here like this. And as the water comes up, that switch will turn on, turns the pump on, lowers the water level, and the switch turns off. On this one, this uh, float switch is tied into this and the sump pump plugged into this, and all of this is up above the water line. I'll have to check to see how long I've had this, but this is the third sump pump I've had since I built my house, and that was about 21 years ago. So they don't last very long. And there's a three-prong plug in here, surprisingly. And the power cord has a matching plug that probably has some silicone grease or something in there, pushes down in there, and it's held in place with this clip. So right there, you have the potential for a short. When I pulled this thing out, when I shook it back and forth, it was full of water. And that was pretty much the end of that. If you are running a sump pump and it plugs up, you check the screen, and this limits how large a particle can get into this. Quite a few screws in that. And this comes off, and there's a rubber gasket that seals this chamber so that the water from the impeller goes up through this channel and comes out here. You connect a pipe or a hose or whatever to this. Inside here, we got the wires coming from that plug. I've cut these off to get them out of my way. There's a rubber gasket that goes around this motor, and that's around this piece here. And again, that's probably lubricated with a silicone grease or whatever. And it is pushed in here, and it would be pushed in here with a ram. That's a pretty tight fit. This plug. Um, is removed when they assemble this to let the air out. And then they run this plug in here to seal this. This is supposed to remain waterproof. And this was full of water. Now why this did not blow a circuit breaker, I don't know. When I brought it into the shop, I didn't know it was full of water. I plugged it in, it blew the GFI. But it still turns. And this rubber gasket that was in here it had one little bad spot here that looked like it was lifted up. And I finally was able to pull that out with a pair of pliers to get the motor out. And there's really only two places for this to leak like that. It either leaked around this gasket or there's a shaft seal on this to keep water from going into the motor housing. And it's one of those two failed. It's filled with water. And that's the end of that story. Not repairable. Basically a piece of junk. If you have your sump pump is plugged up, you can open this up and see if anything's wrapped around this, like string or dirt or something has plugged it up. But that's about the only thing you can do in the term of maintenance. When they quit, you go buy another one and throw this one in the garbage can.